Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of How To Tuesday. I'm Gareth Evans and today we're gonna to learn how to figure out where all of the notes are on your guitar. So following up from last week, we learned what the open strings were. Now you wanna know where all the other notes are. So where are all the E notes on your guitar? Where are all the G notes on your guitar? And then from that, next week we might learn where all the chords are on a guitar, but let's stick to notes for today. This is the way you should look at it. There are seven different notes on your guitar. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, okay? The easiest example to use is your fifth string because it starts at A, so you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then back to A again. And the A is the 12th fret, it's always an octave above. That's why there's two dots on your guitar, it means octave from the open. So the open string and the 12th fret is always an octave. Okay, the next question you're asking is why isn't there 14 frets then? Because there's seven notes and there's a note in between each one, there should be 14. That's a great question. But the rule to learn is that you don't have a note in between B and C, and you don't have a note in between E and F. Okay, that's just a hard and fast rule that you have to learn. And everything else has a note in between. So let's look at our example again on the fifth string. You've got A open. You've got the note in between, which is A sharp or B flat, whichever way you're looking at it. And then it's the B. And then you've got the C, because there's no note in between B and C. We've learned that as the rule. You've got the note in between C and D, which is there, C sharp or B or D flat. And then you've got D and then D sharp or E flat and then E. Next you've got F because there's no note in between E and F as we learn. Then you've got F sharp or G flat and then you've got G and then you've got G sharp or A flat and then back to A on the 12th fret. So that is the rule that repeats throughout your guitar on all of your strings. So wherever you know you start from on the open string, you can just follow that rule or those rules through and find all of the E notes or find all of the G notes on your guitar, for, for example. So let's, let's take E, for example. Where are all the E notes? Every single string has got at least one E note. So the sixth string E note is the open string. Um, the fifth string E note, where can we find that? Okay, if we follow our rules, we've got A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So that should be an E, and it should be the same as your open six, a different octave. Okay, how to find the E note on your fourth string? Okay, we know it starts with a D. Okay, so that should be D sharp next, and then E. So the E is on the second fret on your fourth string. You follow that through to the third string, you just begin on the G. How do we find the E notes on the third string? But G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So we found four E notes on the top four strings so far. Next, we need an E note on the second string. We start from a B. Okay, so we have next we've got C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Another E note. Okay, so that's all the E notes, and the last string, the first string, is an open string for the E note. So that's how we found all the E notes on all of our strings below the 12th fret. And you can follow that through for all the G notes, follow that through for the A notes, the C notes. Have a go at it yourself and see if you can find all the notes that you're looking for. That's it for this week on How To Tuesday. Next week we're going to look at how to find all of the chords on the neck of the guitar and that should be very interesting. Until then, bye for now.